ஹலோ கைஸ் ஹவ் ஆர் யூ ஹோப் ஆல் ஆர் சேஃப் இன் திஸ் பேண்டமிக் ஐ ஹோப் ஆல் ஆர் யூட்டிலைசிங் திஸ் லாக்டவுன் எஃபிஷியன்ட்லி ஸோ திஸ் வீக் வில் சி அபவுட் பேலண்ட்ரோம் பேலண்ட்ரோம் இஸ் ஒன் ஆஃப் த மோஸ்ட் இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் கொஸ்டின்ஸ் விச் இஸ் ஆஸ்க்ட் இன் த இன்டர்வியூ ஸோ வில் சி வாட் இஸ் பேலண்ட்ரோம் ஐ கெஸ் யூ ஆல் நோ வாட் இஸ் பேலண்ட்ரோம் பேலண்ட்ரோம் இஸ் நத்திங் பட் வென் வி ரிவர்ஸ் த வேர்ட் வி வில் கெட் தட் சேம் வேர்ட் ஃபார் எக்ஸாம்பிள் மேடம் கயாக் ரெஃபர் லிவல் எக்ஸெட்ரா Uh, there are so many words which is palindrome so when we reverse these words we will get the same word so we'll check whether the given string is palindrome or not let's directly dive into the palindrome program okay so i have created a class called palindrome there i have wrote the main so let's um, start with this so uh, there are so many ways in writing a palindrome program first let's see normally how to write a palindrome program so let's get the string from the user so i will use scanner so with the scanner i will get the user uh, i will get the word from the user so if i do sc dot next i can get the get the particular word from the user i mean we can get the particular word from the console if i want to get some integer then i can go for next int here i want the word so i am using sc dot next that i will store it in one variable called word will keep it as word so there i am storing one st- storing the value now i now i will iterate uh, till the uh, length of that word here what i am going to do is i am going to traverse from the last of that word so i will use for int i is equal to word dot length minus 1 length means suppose we'll take the example uh, we'll take the word madam it is a five letter one if we see the length it is five but when it is storing in that uh, heap memory it will store from zero zero index so the last position will be uh, 0 1 2 3 4 m will get stored in the fourth index so that's why we are giving word dot length minus 1 and we are checking i greater than or equal to 0 then it will go inside the for loop if i use word dot caret of i caret of function will give the particular value for that particular index so if uh, let's say word dot caret of i uh, caret of 4 means there m will be there so i will get that particular m so that m i will be i have to put it in one variable so here i am using string builder so if i use string builder instead of creating new new uh, place holders in this builder i will use append function so that it will go and append these words in the builder so when we when i am iterating via for loop first i will get m uh, so it will append this next i will get a that a will go and append with m and next i will get d that will go and append with a and i again i will get a that i will go that it will go and append with d so like this it it will go this iteration will go on and it will append so that we will get the word as m a d a m so as it is builder i will convert uh, this to two string and i will store it in one variable reversed word so builder dot two string if we want to convert from string builder to string i can use dot two string now i will check whatever the word i have got i will compare with that reversed word and i will check whether this both are equal i can use dot equals ignore case so even if it is uh, uh, if it is coming in lower case or uh, upper case it won't see whether it is upper case or lower case it will check only the letter uh, so it is case insensitive so we can use equals ignore case and if it is both are equal it will check uh, it will return it as palindrome otherwise it will show it is not a palindrome why i have used a string builder for appending means uh, you uh, you would have already know the concept right what is immutable and mutable here a string is immutable where a string builder is not immutable so if you use string builder if it is going and storing it in one particular position means in that particular position only all the words will get overridden and it will store in the same 
a place holder same memory whereas if we go for string there it will uh, each letter will go and store it in um, different different memory so that it will generate more space so that's why i ha i have used the string builder for this appending function so whenever you wanted to do some appending operations or something you can go for string builder than string which will en enhance the performance for the program and we can do that in an efficient way here i have given hello and uh, which is not a palindrome so we got the result as not a palindrome so the same thing we'll see how we will be doing uh, using this uh, java 8 features now uh, for loop is a usual thing we'll be uh, using it for iterating there is one future uh, there is one feature for uh, iteration uh, in java 8 if you know uh, from uh, if you know from which value to which value you are going to iterate means then you can go for in stream instead of this for loop here i know from where to where i am going to iterate from zero until the middle element i am going to iterate so i can use that in stream so in stream dot range inside that range you can specify what range you are going to use the first uh, parameter it is inclusive and the second parameter it is exclusive so if you are giving word length by 2 it will read uh, what are the element which is there that that element is exclusive in that in stream so uh, it will be iterating till that i will be using this all match method so in this i will be giving that particular condition whatever we have wrote over there in the previous scenario so here in each iteration in each iteration i will be checking word dot caret of i equal to word dot caret of word dot length of minus i minus 1 the same logic so in each iteration it will check the first letter and the last letter if it is matching it will continue otherwise it will return false so if we are giving that example as madam in each iteration it will return true and uh, the boolean la last we will get the value as true so if is palindrome that variable if uh, if this instrument is returning true then we will print this is palindrome otherwise it is not palindrome okay i have given the word madam so it is palindrome now we'll give the word hello you can try with other words as well okay hello it is not a palindrome so that's how we will find whether the given string is palindrome or not so these are some of the efficient ways that uh, you can see whether it is palindrome or not so more than simply writing a program the way you are writing a program matters whenever we are writing a program we should think about the performance both time complexity and space complexity so along with this palindrome program we we have also learnt about scanner and why we use string builder as it is immutable we have used string uh, string builder which won't take more memory as it overrides the existing memory unlike string if you would like to know about why string is immutable just drop a comment in the comment section so i will post a video about why string is immutable if you like my video hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon Rather than this, if you want to learn about some other questions or concepts, add a comment in the comment section. Definitely, I will be taking a session for that. Thank you, folks. Enjoy a moment in your life. Happy learning. Bye-bye.